Welcome back to Dino's Garage for the VFR 800X or the VFR 800 Cross Runner. As nice as the bike looks, actually one of the sort of stick out areas that need sort of straight away looking at is the exhaust pipe. So we've got a lovely Akvapovic exhaust. It's original on this 2015 model, but this needs some serious elbow grease. So, to tackle that pipe, we need to get back down here, get the auto sole, some rag, and, and yeah, let's get on and make that from what looks pretty brown and not very nice looking to lovely and shiny and almost new looking. Let's get down there. Right, so here is the pipe in question. And so to tackle that, I'm gonna be using some very fine, very fine wire wall. We don't wanna be scratching that pipe too much. Good old auto sole, and then just a rag to polish it off. So let's get on and see if we can bring that from brown and nasty to polished and looking nice. Let's crack on. So, first up, bit of auto sole on the wire wall. This bit here, in particular, at this joint, doesn't look too, too pretty. And I'm not going too hard on this, I don't want to be scratching you know too far in but just gently work that auto sole in with the wire wall little circular motions and don't forget you know if if this ends up not working and not looking too great we can always use that VHT that very high temperature satin black paint that I have for the other parts of the bike and we could spray this section black by sort of masking off around here and then doing the rest black down here but what I want to do first is see how it comes up with the auto sole and with the wild wall and if this works and it looks nice then so be it you know we don't need to be painting it black unless of course you prefer it black let's just have a quick look at that now So you can see straight away, big difference, and that's taking about 30 seconds. So we'll just carry on like this for now. Um, now, been out this morning, had a lovely ride, and uh, just washed the bike off. It's still winter, we were only early February, a lot of salt still on the road, so washed all the bike off, rinsed it off. Now, going to tackle this side panel here. Um, this is an ex-police bike that came from Guernsey. Um, it's had a few holes drilled in a few places on the plastics and unfortunately they need to be covered over. Let's have a look at what I mean. So basically what we got here are some holes that have been drilled um, probably to fit the police lights, the blue lights here on this panel and we also have some up here as well. But we're going to be focusing on this panel mostly today um, and the plan is basically to put some vinyl wrap on this section leave this part white but first we've got to get this off the bike we can take it indoors and do it indoors um, but yeah that's what we're going to do take this off take her indoors and then remove this part from the black part and we may be able to be able to remove the honda emblem from here and then we can vinyl wrap this over the top of these holes and then we can put this back on we'll also need to fill the holes because obviously the vinyl wrap is going to go on and then you'll see the depressions of the vinyl wrap on that bit there as well so let's get on and see if we can remove this now right now as you can see the side panel has been removed now i just explained how you remove that this is the side panel in question and basically it clips and hooks into here and it has a little hook here on the side of the tank and there's also a little bit here that hooks underneath there on the tank so basically to put this back in in reverse you would first hook this actually you would hook this under the tank at the back bring it up here and then slide forward and then locate into this section here 
Now the way that this is actually fixed into place is there's one Allen key headed bolt here that holds it firmly against the, the frame via a bracket. Then you've got a series of little tiny black push-in clips. You've got a little um, section underneath the um, front beak, as I would call it here, and then it clips into this section here. So once you undo those little fixings, and they are just literally tiny little fixings like this, where it's like a little um, pin that locates, and it's like an expanding, an expanding plug type fixing. Once you undo that and take that off, then you can undo them from underneath here, from inside the fork. Then you, you basically freed it from this part, and then like I say, undo the bolt, and you basically sort of lift up and slide back, and then un, un, undo or release this little bit here, which sits underneath the lip of the tank. Then you're free, as we'll see from another angle, to access all of the electronics if you need to. Most of the electronics of the bike are held on this side of the bike here. Um, obviously you've got some electronics still up near the battery area, but a lot of it is in this section here. Um, you can also then access your tank and clean your tank properly, because um, your tank's never going to get cleaned properly unless you remove these and you know polish I mean I can see a little bit of rust we'll see we'll bring the camera around and you can have a look so like I say most of the electronics are here on this side of the bike and this is the area I was talking about here that's normally covered by that side panel and you can see there's a little bit of surface rust really easy to remove that but if you don't take off that side panel, you'd never see this and be able to remove it. But like I say, you've now got full access to a lot of the electrical components of the bike. But that aside, that's just a couple of connections to remove that and get to that point. What we're interested in is the panel and obviously getting that sorted. Let's have a look at that. And so now we've removed this panel, we can see we have one, two, three, four screws that will take this section away from the white section that we don't need to worry about and then we've got one two screws here and when we take those two screws off we'll basically be removing this black section away from this part that we want to vinyl wrap there i say um nice and easy really to remove it from from here now let's get on and try and vinyl wrap but first we've got to fill those holes Right, so good news is the emblem, the Honda emblem here, that was in there like that, came off reasonably easily. Um, initially I tried to use a plastic thing like this to try and get in, but that edge is very, very fine, it's only about a millimetre in there. I didn't really want to have to do it, but I did use um, a flat screwdriver and just got in there enough just to it up and once I've done that enough I then went in with the plastic tool here and then just gently prized it up until that came away and on the back is a foam sticker like so and uh, yeah that will need to be replaced or removed but once that's off like that that obviously makes life much easier for me because I can then vinyl wrap over this area and sort of into this area and bring the vinyl over this lip and try and get it into this circle to some degree before then sticking that back in over the vinyl and into that area there and that depression is solid so that also gives me something to put some sort of adhesive into to stick that down so I don't think I'll use foam I rem will remove the foam and then stick that in place with some some like 007 or CT1 type adhesive so next up I need to on the back side of here put some tape over the back of these holes so I can then put a bit of filler into these areas here and then I'll be able to 
just gently rub into that filler smooth off any burrs on the edges because where that's been drilled there will be some sort of you can feel it some edge to the hole so I need to fill it just gently rub over so it's smooth because anything the vinyl sits on will be seen so this still needs to be perfectly smooth for the for that not to show underneath the vinyl wrap so that's the next thing tape on the back fill and then sand so it's nice and flat and then we can get that done in, in house tonight where it's nice and warm and and clean right now i've taped the back of these holes so any filler doesn't obviously fall through and push through and i'm going to be using this kind of filler um, really really sets hard and sets quick it uses um, a, a, a hardener such as this normally sort of red in color and um, just add it to a bit of this so we'll pop this open basically an epoxy resin type filler so it's just a very smooth type of filler and I'm going to take some of this now obviously you only need a tiny bit really so I'm going to take some of this Put it on a lid or something from before. Add a tiny little bit of our hardener. That's about all we need to make this go off. Mix the two. So the red mixes with the grey so you have one complete colour of course this first panel will really use our experiment but what I don't want to do is mess this panel up because if it doesn't vinyl wrap too well then of course what I'm going to want to do is, is find a sticker that will go over this or you know maybe spray it but I want to avoid spraying it if I can that's going to be a real pain matching colors of paints and you know it adds cost buying paints etc etc so this well got to be really careful about getting this filler into this hole without actually messing anything else up so just going to be really careful to, to get it in here without making too much of a mess with the rest of the panel so I really want it to be it won't shrink back now that should be pretty good so we'll leave that now to harden and set and then we can just lightly sand if we need to but once it's hardened I can feel it with my fingers and see and feel whether or not you know I need to sand it down or even maybe go over with another little bit of filler because like I say although we're vinyl wrapping this it will stick and show anything even tiny little rings over them areas if there's anything you know a depression of any sort left there right so here we are in the kitchen and I have already filled and sanded down those holes so this area is now pretty smooth 
and should be fine once we've got the vinyl wrap onto it. So now I'm going to use some panel wipe and basically wipe off the whole surface so it's free of any dust and any hairs or anything like that and then we should be able to lay our vinyl wrap onto it but before I do that I'll just cut some vinyl wrap to approximately the right size.